So today we're going to make our Zen Tangle Pumpkins. This We have our How to Draw a Pumpkin sheet in front of us and I can do it with you on the board as well. We're going to start with our Sharpies and we're going to make a large oval shape in the center of our paper. It can be wonky. It doesn't have to be perfect. Pumpkins are not perfect. Next we're going to take and we're going to make a C attached to that wonky oval and then a D but the body of a D on the other side and we're going to do it again on either side. That's going to give us the base of our pumpkin. We'll make a wonky stem, add two little bumps in the back and voila we got a pumpkin. We'll do this together. Now we have our Zentangle sheet which we've talked about which is a bunch of fun different designs. Each segment of the pumpkin is going to get a different design. So the stem, the center oval segment and each segment we drew will get a different design. This will take a while. I'm again I'm using a sharpie and it takes some thought. So this is not something that should be rushed through. In the center of this one I am making some little kind of rainbow bumps and putting another little bump in between. Uh, it's a pattern in each section. I'm also re-outlining each section as I go to make it nice and dark. So now I'm gonna go to my next section. Oh, the back. We did dots on one side, squiggle lines on the other. Now in this segment I'm gonna do some swirls. They kind of run into each other. The next segment I'll do some lines with some triangle zigzags that go between those lines. And then I decided I'll just color in every other triangle as it goes up the pumpkin. So everybody's is going to be completely different. You're looking to do a different pattern in each section of your pumpkin. You're looking to fill in the space. I did a series of three dashed lines in that one segment and in my last segment I did a bunch of circles that are kind of squished together and then I redrew the outside lines with my marker to make them nice and defined. I also redrew my stem lines. Next we're going to take our dead markers. I have somewhat dead markers at home that I'm dipping in water and I'm using an orange and I'm outlining each segment of my pumpkin with the orange. Then I'm going to take my yellow, dipping it in water again, and bringing it back to the paper and filling it in with the yellow. This is going to give my pumpkin a little bit of depth because each segment's going to be lighter towards the center and darker towards the edges. Now if your colors start to bleed together like mine did when I started to do my stem, there might be too much water on the paper. You can dab it with some paper towels. And next I'm going to take my green and dip it in some water and back to the paper. And I'm going to make the grass that the pumpkin is sitting on. Okay, we need to make that line, that background. I also added a little bit of brown underneath the pumpkin to give it a bit of a shadow on the ground where the pumpkin's sitting. And then I got a blue marker, dipped it in water again to start my sky. I added a little purple into my sky as well. Your sky can be whatever color you want it to be. It could be a sunset. It could be red, yellows, and oranges. And I kept going back and forth between different colors of markers, dipping them in water, bringing them back to my paper. You don't want to scrub the paper too much because it will start to ruin the paper. But you can go back and forth adding more water and adding more color until you're happy with the look of your Zen Tangle Pumpkin.